begin the show dance portion of the competition. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, from New Jersey, double 228, Felipe and Carolina Tolona. Partnership. I mean, they really have a good connection together. They're a married couple. So were they partners first and then they got married? Well, actually, they were dating and they had different partners and they didn't want to partner together because they thought it could ruin their um, relationship. But then apparently they had tried different people and nobody was working. It's like a Daggio, isn't it? have a great chemistry together and the music is so cool. really do some great show numbers. That was beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, couple 228, Felipe and Carolina Tolona. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our next presentation. From New York, a double 316, Tony Dovalani and Elena Grenenko. Right, here we go. Tony and Elena. When the sun is warm. Oh, it's one of my favorite songs, too. in their lives. But it sure looks like they are. They are right now, that's yeah, for sure. that's all. <laughs> that's the important part. Yeah. And what's so beautiful is the basic work that they do. They make it look so incredible. 
this. And then of course they go into something very artistic like this. And the control they have together, you know, they're constantly shifting their weight yeah. to support one another. Those performances were spectacular. It's pretty unbelievable when you stop and think that those routines are just two minutes long. So much work goes into crafting them. Seeing the couples out there on the floor alone, I couldn't help but notice the women's shoes. Well, those aren't your average department store pumps. If they were, dancing would not only be uncomfortable, but dangerous. Dancers put tremendous pressure on their footwear. So, of course, there are shoes that are crafted specifically to their needs. Let's start with the heel. Typically, they're two and a half to three inches high. Anything less than that makes a woman's foot look flat. The angle in which the heel is attached depends on the kind of dancing being done. There's a steel pin throughout and usually a replaceable tip. Latin shoes must be strappy and open-toed, while the standard dances call for more traditional pump. The soles are swayed for optimum traction and maneuverability. The majority of shoes are colored to blend into the floor. This is to enhance and elongate the line of the woman's leg. Women's shoes cost between one and $200, but given the work they do, a professional is replacing them every six to eight weeks. So how about the men? Do you guys need special shoes as well? Well, ours are a lot more basic, but they have some of the same features as women's shoes. Ours also have the lambskin soles and special supports on the inside to relieve the strain of quick turns and lifts. Well, let's see some more of those shoes in action. Here's John De Palma with the next two show dances. From Pennsylvania, please welcome couple 256, Evgeny Dechenko and Ina Ivanenko. <laughs> That's it. It's going to be jive. This splash, I was taking a bath all about a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, what did he have on? You know, I don't know how many show dances that Jimmy does, but I mean, this is unusual for me to see him in this light, that's for sure. Now it's gonna be tough dancing to those bunny slippers. Now will the judges like something like this or will they mark them? Well, you know, everybody has their own uh, opinion whether they would enjoy it. I know it's like, it's entertaining. It might be pushing the envelope a little bit much. <laughs> Well, he certainly wasn't going through vanity points on this one. <laughs> right. When I put my dancing shoes on, I was rolling and I stole it. Feeling with the feeling, moving and moving, pushing and a splash. on this one, but it's great. I mean, in some ways, yeah, this is people will remember this. People will remember him one way or another. Certainly entertaining. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen.